Let's move into main topic. What topic are we on now? Three. three? Let's move into main topic number three. Rob, what is our third main topic today? Well, John, a third main topic comes to us from the Antagonistic Anonymous. Hey, crew, everyone's favorite family, Fantastic Four, finally has a real update by the director himself. In an interview with The Wrap, Matt Shackman confirmed that the film will commence shooting in early 2024. Furthermore, he also hinted at the tone of the film being about optimism and looking to the stars and technology, oh, like Star Trek. John, I might be the one, I might be one of the biggest Fantastic Four fans out here, and to hear Shackman acknowledging the true roots of Fantastic Four's exploration multiplies my already excited hype. Let's hope we get the cast at San Diego Comic-Con this year. So, John, what are your thoughts on this actually real update? I mean, yeah, this is the most substantial from the horse's mouth, not from some internet source or whatever that we've had on Fantastic Four. And quite frankly, it, it's the most substantial one we've ever had. So we now have a window of when they're actually going to start shooting this thing. And there were some speculations going around that they may not actually start shooting this till mid to late 2024. But according to Matt Shackman, who, of course, was the director of WandaVision and did such a wonderful job with it. That is right, right? He's the, he's the one who did WandaVision. Yeah. It was Matt Shackman, yeah. Did such a great job on that. He's saying definitively it is the, actually the beginning of 2024. So that's, that's significantly earlier than what some people were maybe speculating. That means this movie is already in pre-production at this point. Because these movies, these giant blockbuster tentpole films especially the heavily effects ones. These things go mm -hmm. into pre-production quite early. They're already moving on that. So we know that. Now, one of the other big things going around is, again, I'm seeing headlines saying, uh, Director of Fantastic Four is saying that none of the casting has happened yet. But he didn't say that. Right. He didn't say that. Let's look at exactly <laughs> what he said. John, we can bring up my screen here again for this. This is specifically the quote, all right? Matt Shackman said, all the casting stuff you see is just rumors. We are early in our process there. We have nothing to announce right now. And certainly when we do, we will let you know. He did not say they haven't done any casting. <laughs> all right, this, this is great PR speak. This is PR speak. Now, look, do I think Fantastic Four at this point, when they start shooting you know, a year from now, do I think all casting of Fantastic Four has been 100% complete? Not necessarily. I don't. But I do believe this. I believe they know who at least a number of their primaries are going to be. And if you're already targeting your when you're going to start shooting this thing, that means you've already checked with schedules. That means you've already checked to see who is available to start at that point. Because guess what? If John, and I'm, I'm, I'm not saying John Krasinski is going to be read I'm just saying for theoretical sake, right? If you kind of hope eventually you're going to get John Krasinski to be your, your Mr. Fantastic. And again, I'm just using that as a placeholder name. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Then you're not going to set your release, your, your starting shooting date without first checking to see if, Hey, make sure you keep your schedule clear for this. Cause if John Krasinski is already planning and shooting a couple of movies in that time, you're out of luck. Right? So the, combining the fact that Shackman did not say, all, all Shackman said was exactly the truth. Everything you're hearing is rumor. He didn't say they were false rumors. He didn't say none of them are even close to being right. But he's saying, everything you've heard of rumor, we have nothing to announce right now. That doesn't mean they don't have, that just means they're not going to announce anything. And when we're ready, we will. I think the person who wrote it, and I think Antagonistic Anonymous is right. I think... As much as Disney's been trying to to push their uh, their D23 event, Kevin Feige still clearly loves Comic-Con. And I think you might be right. I think the actual announcements, will, if they don't get leaked in advance, which they probably will, but I think the official announcements will probably come um, at Comic-Con. I, I, that's going to be my guess. Or hell, in April at CinemaCon. I also wouldn't be, I wouldn't be shocked at all if Kevin, because Kevin Feige can't, comes out on stage at CinemaCon. He was out on stage this year at, at CinemaCon. I will not doubt at all that he's going to come out on stage at CinemaCon this year. And I'm not predicting they will announce the Fantastic Four lineup, but I won't be surprised at all, but certainly by then. Anyway, Rob, you read these comments. 
I mean, this, listen, it's the tangibilization, right? This thing, this Fantastic Four movie is becoming more and more real. What did you take away from his comments? Well, first of all, the things that excited me, not to just belabor the point, the, the Star Trek of it all, but the fact that they're harking back to the there kind of Fantastic Four stories that I like. <laughs> no, the idea of exploration. I mean, I think about my favorite runs on Fantastic Four, Burns 80s. Uh, Fantastic Four run, which I loved, you know, a lot of a lot of cosmic voyaging and and even Hickman's run on Fantastic Four, Jonathan Hickman's run, I, I I really enjoyed as well. But I like that optimistic, you know, like we've always said, what if they found not, I'm not saying they're because I guess we know now they don't because it would have been reported, I suppose. But the Fantastic Four being from the 60s and found in the quantum realm or whatever. I mean, I like that idea because there's that inherent optimism about that the sort of the era of the Camelot Kennedy White House and going to the moon and all of that. And I always liked that about the Fantastic Four. And the Fantastic Four was not a dark, I mean, there's dark episodes in the Fantastic Four's history, but it was a fun comic book. I mean, yeah, they would run into Galactus and things like that, but it was still, it, it appealed to that, that side of me that liked big sci-fi epic stories that were fun. That you know weren't necessarily destroying the planet all the time, although there was some of that. But in terms of casting, I think you're right. I think they already know because, like you pointed out, they don't want to get yellow stoned. Yeah, that's gonna be the new thing <laughs> in the end. You don't want to get yellow stoned. Damn it, our that. show just got yellow stoned. You know, our principal's out. <laughs> so, all right, look at that. Wouldn't that make a great? That's from the new. Um, Alex Ross Fantastic Four comic that just came out. Mm. Wouldn't that make a cool looking group? Well, it's a great. Po I love the lighting on it. Too. I know. Anyway, guys, questions for you. What do you think about this? Uh, listen, we now know when they're going to start shooting this thing. We've got the release date we've had for a little bit now. The pieces of the puzzle are starting to fall into place. Are you excited about this? What part of this information stands out to you the most? Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, DraftKings. Are you ready for the biggest Sunday in sports? DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of Super Bowl 57, has all the Super Bowl action you need. New customers can bet just $5 and get 200 in bonus bets instantly. Plus, all customers can get in on the Super Bowl 57 excitement with DraftKings Happy Hour Super Boosts. Check the DraftKings Sportsbook app every day between 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to see what prop bet will be boosted. Going into Super Bowl 57, I think you got to look at the Philadelphia Eagles as taking home the big prize. Keep your eye on Jalen Hurts. He's going to be the difference maker in the game. So guys, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use the code Campia. New customers can bet $5 on Super Bowl 57 and get 200 in bonus bets instantly. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with the code Campia. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details.